Hello, my name's Dave, and in this little video, I'm going to show you everything you need to have a great booth so you can show off your business to new clients. So to begin with, I'm showing you a booth that isn't so great. As you can see, it's very flat. It, there's, there's no information on it. It's not very colorful. Honestly, I'd probably just walk right past this booth. But check out my booth. So it was right across from that other booth, and here you can see it's very colorful, lots of information, no blank spaces. You can see the name of my company and the kind of, of house deals we can do from across the room. You can come and grab a free pen. You can come and take a look at the, uh, the deals we've done, at the before and after pictures, and the photo albums, photos of houses, lots of writing here. So you want a nice, big, full, colorful display. Now before you have that, you got to have a logo. Before you have a logo, you got to have a color. So how do you pick the right color for your business? And you're probably wondering why I have a picture of a bird up now. Now, I picked this bird because it's a very colorful kind of bird. And you can isolate any one color from any picture you find on the internet and use that as your color for your business. So how do you do that? Well, there's this great website called geniefab.com. Now, don't worry about writing this down. I'm going to put it in the description of the video. But if you go to geniefab.com, you can either upload any picture you have to it, or you could put the URL in this bar here and then upload that image. So there's my bird. And the great thing about this website is anywhere you click on your picture, it's going to bring up just that one cover. So here's the yellow from its breast. Here's the green from its wing. Here's the blue from its tail. And here's what I'm after, the red on his throat. So anywhere you click, it's going to give you that exact shade of red. And, uh, yeah, I think that's perfect. So there's my, my shade of red. And it's going to give you the HTML color code. Now, don't be put off by the name. It's very simple. Basically, these six digits and letters that I've highlighted, that's what computers use to tell an exact color. So I'm going to copy that. And now I've got my official company color. It was that simple. Thank you, Mr. Bird. Now, if you want to get complicated with your colors, there's a great website called Palaton. You can see the color wheel here. And basically what you do on Palaton is you can enter in, you can paste in your HTML color code. So here's the color I pulled off of that bird's throat. And it gives me a complete palette of all four of its reds and even complementary covers. And you can really play around with it. And the point is, covers really brand your company, so uh, pick ones that you really like and make sure that you, you use good complementary covers. Anyway, so this is my official red. So now you've got your cover, and you want a logo. I recommend LogoGarden.com. In LogoGarden, you can design your own logo out of some stock images that'll let you really control the font of your, your logo, which image you use, you can use the color you want, and you can make a nice little logo for your company, because all good companies have logos, right? Just for example, I designed this logo in three minutes. Now, maybe it's not, maybe it would have been better if I'd spent four minutes, but the point is that that's pretty good for, for just a couple minutes, and it looks pretty official. So if you, uh, if you ever want to hire Dave's Real Estate, just give me a call, right? If you want to get a little more professional with your logo, and I, I wouldn't blame you, you can find one on design jobs on Reddit. So you go to reddit.com slash r slash design jobs. Again, I'll put that in the comments on this video. And here are designers, graphic designers from all over the world who are looking for jobs. And uh, you can just pick any one of them. I did. I found one I really liked right away, actually. This guy is uh, johnery.com. I like his, his simple logos. He has his whole portfolio up there. And uh, yeah, you can find a great graphic designer this way. Also, you can go on Craigslist. You can call a local art school. Honestly, a graphic designer is probably going to try to find you if you put the word out there. So now you've got your cover. You've got your logo. You're ready to start branding your business. Where do you go next? You want a business card. Now, for a business card, you cannot beat Vistaprint.com. Their prices are amazing, they ship fast, and there are so many kinds of business cards to choose from. 
You can put your logo on there. You can get as many colors as you want. You can put your picture on there. Um, although I'm a plain Jane, I kind of got a basic business card. So I got this one from Vistaprint.com. It's uh, $20 for a thousand of these. So I, I throw them away like, uh, like no one's business. Really, you, you have to have a business card. I'm sure you know that, but Vistaprint can't be beaten. So going back to my booth, you see I had these vinyl banners, and, and, and they're great. I got them from a local printing company called Sinorama.com. Now, I'm not suggesting you buy your vinyl banners from St. Paul, Minnesota, but if you Google vinyl banner and the name of your city, all the results are going to be companies that will make you a custom vinyl banner for, well, I paid 80 bucks. So for $80, you can get a vinyl banner like mine that brags all about your business and people all over the room can see. And uh, yeah, so I just called this guy. I kind of told him what my company is. I then emailed him all the information I wanted on my banner. And in 30 minutes, he sent me this. He, he just produced this instantly. Um, I picked it up in a couple days. And for $80, I had this great banner that was showing off the kind of deal that my team can do. Okay, what else might you like on your on your uh, on your booth? You might like some custom flyers. Now it could be a little uh, a little tricky to make a good looking flyer in, in something like Microsoft Word. So I use LucidPress.com, and basically they let you pick a template and make a flyer that looks like it was designed by a graphic designer. So here is the flyer I made for one of the regular meetings my company hosts at its office. Here you can see I'm using all of my company's colors again, keeping that, that nice color scheme going. Um, but this was all from a template. I made this in about 20 minutes. I put my logo on there, all the information we needed. And now I can put these on my booth whenever I, I go present anywhere. So flyers are a must. I mentioned I had pens. Now for pens, you want to order from 4imprint.com. And they're like the premier custom printing stuff company in America. And you can get 500 pens for $75. I like pens more than business cards. I mean, they both have their perks, but people tend to lose a pen a little less quickly than they do a business card just because a pen is useful. So you, uh, you can put your logo on this pen, the name of your company, your website, your phone number, and uh, they'll be much more likely to hold on to it, and you'll never need a pen again. Another thing I had on my booth was this uh, stand-up display sign. Now, these run a little more expensive, so it might not be the first thing you want to buy for your business, but when you get to that point, I recommend buildasign.com. And here, too, you can work from a template, or you can have them design one for you in any event. It's, uh, it's just a really, it's, I think it's the website to get a nice big stand-up display. These add a lot of height to your, to your booth. That people can see them over other people's heads. So, so uh, there you go. And in addition to that, just frame some pictures of houses. Even if they're not your houses, why not frame someone else's houses and put them on your booth? I've got photo albums full of pictures. And it's funny, people just gravitate towards those photo albums and start flipping through it. And that's when I'll say... So, are you interested in investing in real estate? And, and that's how you get them. Something about people. They love flipping through photo albums. Um, definitely print out deals that you've done or, or deals that, hey, even you'd like to do and, and put them in folders. People just can't resist the urge to leaf through a book if it's sitting in front of them. So now you need a place to set your booth up. And that's one of the easiest parts. Go to meetup.com. Type real estate into the uh, search bar. And then within 50 miles of whatever city you're in, and it's going to produce every meetup real estate group in your state. So right away, I just went to Minneapolis, Minnesota, real estate, and here are, you know, a couple dozen little real estate clubs. Find out who's in charge of each, ask them if you can come have a booth or present to their group, or just join and just uh, get the colors of the day and meet the members and you'll be networking before you know it. You can also just type in the name of your state and real estate club, and it will give you one by one every real estate club in your state. 
I like uh, this particular one, Minnesota Real Estate Investors Association. So a couple weeks ago, I gave them a call. I asked them when their next big event was. I asked them if I could buy a booth there for $180. I, I got a spot. I got my own table. I got there a half hour early, picked out a good one. I set up. That night, my associate and I, we talked to 20 people, and it looks like we're going to be working with, uh, with a few of them. So a booth, I mean, for the money you put into it, there's probably no quicker way to earn someone's trust Show that you're a legitimate, good operation, and uh, introduce yourself. So I hope you go out there and, and you pick a good color, you pick a good logo, and you put it all over the place and really brand yourself to a fairly well, because, well, that's the way it's done. So I hope you've learned a little bit from this video, and I wish you the best of luck. Uh, take care out there.